Hey friend, welcome to Ask Dr. Betters. You know, back in the 1970s, I remember it well, there was a movement across evangelical Christianity. It, it went by a variety of different names. I won't get into that right now, except to say that it proposed a theology of biblical submission that was anything but biblical. And that goes hand in hand with this particular question. Hi, Dr. Betters. I am a 24 year old female and I have a question about marriage. I know that wives are supposed to submit themselves to their husbands. However, every female member of mine, my mother, grandmother, aunts, etc., submitted themselves to their husbands and ended up being abused and controlled by them. The idea of submitting myself uh, underneath a future husband makes me feel so uncomfortable that I would rather live a life of singleness. However, I want to have children in the future. What should I do? Well, the first thing you need to do is get a proper understanding of biblical submission. Ephesians chapter 5 says, Wives, verse 22, Submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. There's the qualifier. Submission is as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife. Here's the second qualifier. Even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its savior. Now, as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands. So the first and most important thing you need to do is get a biblical understanding of what true submission between a man and a woman looks like. He says, here's what it looks like. Just as Christ is the head of the church, just as Christ cares for his body, so a husband is to care for his wife. She is to come under his protective care. That's what the word submission means, to come under the protective care of another. Not an abusive relationship, not a I am the Lord and you are the, you are the servant, not uh, some sort of uh, abusive relationship, but a relationship that models the relationship that Christ has with his church, a willingness of a man to die for his wife. That's what he's talking about here. A willingness to die for his spouse. Now, if you are married to a man like that, who is willing to lay down everything he is, lay down his life for you, that's someone you're not going to have any trouble submitting to. That's someone who's going to bring you under his protective care. You shouldn't be afraid of marriage because you've witnessed its abuses. You've watched it in your own family. Clearly, they married men who did not qualify to be the kind of husbands Christ calls us to be in this Ephesians 5 passage. I hope you'll understand that when you marry that kind of a man, that's what a love relationship looks like. A man who is willing to love you with no strings attached, to protect your every interest, to seek your best at every turning point, to love you with no strings attached unconditionally in the same way that Christ loves his church. That's the kind of man you need to look for. And that's why marriage, in, according to the scriptures, God calls it good. It is good to have that kind of a relationship with another human being who is going to love you in the same way that Christ loved you. When you have that kind of man in your life, uh, then submitting to him is not going to be 
the kind of burden that you have witnessed it to be with your family members. I hope this video means something to you. I hope all of our videos mean something to you. We want to keep producing these because of questions like this. That's a heart-wrenching question. You've witnessed some pretty bad things with your family members in their marriages, but maybe you can be the first to marry in the context of Ephesians chapter 5, to love your wife, to love your husband in that kind of symbiotic relationship that Christ has with his church. Would you help us produce these videos? Would you help us get the word out? Look on this video, you will see a QR code. Just take your camera, your smartphone, phone, and point it at that QR code. And you know what will come up? The opportunity for you to give to this ministry, to support us, uh, to be an encouragement to us. Why don't you subscribe to our app, which is called Help and Hope, where you can find out about everything that we're doing to help get the right message across. I hope this helps your question. I hope if you need further help, you'll allow us to offer you our counseling ministry called Anchored Hope Biblical Counseling. There again, you can find all that information on the app. Hope this helps you. Hi, my name is Melissa Weisenfels, Executive Director here at Mark Inc. Ministries. Thank you so very much for your continued support of this video series. Ask Dr. Betters is not meant to be a substitute for professional counseling, but instead is designed to extract biblical principles around the questions being asked. We encourage you to seek professional counseling if needed.